Hello and good morning, everybody. It is I, Granorite, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Blue with our Gen 1 type challenge of Normal Type, our final Normal Type team. You might be wondering why we are starting out this episode in Saffron City, um, going into Sulco when we were last seen on our way to Fuchsia City. Well, the answer is we're just going to go get uh, Earthquake really super early uh, so that um, Tauros is boss. There's only one trainer blocking the way from getting Earthquake, and he has a Machoke, so we're just going to let Dodrio go in and own face. And then we'll go back out to where we were on the way to Fuchsia City and continue onwards. I did also go by the TM for um, Hyper Beam and give that to Tauros as well. So a level 33 Machoke. All that blocks our way. Easy peasy. And while we're rocking around, we'll also get that Carvos rare and rare candy. Alright, now let's exit. Oh, I didn't want to fight this guy. Whoops. Well, I guess we'll take on this guy too. Haha, <laughs> because my controller wasn't listening to me. My fault completely. Oh well, it's just one trainer. Good morning, Foxyasi. How are you today? Ah, tired. Well, I'm sorry that you are tired. Let's get out of here. Well, I know it's not my fault, but nonetheless, uh, I prefer people to feel rested and healthy. and Earthquake. In place of Tackle. Let's heal up. Not creepy, Dow. Don't worry, we don't have to listen to the creepy music. I'll prevent it from playing. Oh, spam. Uh, just a second here. Yeah, not the bots. Thank you. 
All right, there. I have removed those spam from chat. And reported both of them. It's ridiculous how many bot accounts you get whenever you uh, open your chat up to everybody. But we've had several accounts that have been actioned on because of our reporting them, so we'll switch Tauros up here. Yeah, you're right. Only tro trolls and bots like the food spam. You were correct. Ah, poison gas. Alright, take out the duck. Got the Spiro Firo. Good job, version. bikers up here. Hoping to get some flinches with these bites. We are going to get poisoned by smog at this rate.
Get out of here, coffee. Swap Tauros up. What are the numbers by the Pokemon for? Uh, which numbers? Oh! On the Pokemon tracker, you mean? The the green zero with the line through it on, like, above me? Uh, so what that is, is, um, in later generations, you know, Pokemon have genders. Uh, but nothing has the gender in Gen 1, because that wasn't something that was in it. So, in that box is where we would denote the gender of the Pokemon in the later generations. So once we get to Gen 2... We'll mark in that little bitty uh, green zero whether it, the Pokemon is male or female or genderless. Uh, but for Gen 1, it's just marked null with that green zero since nothing has a gender in green 1. Gen 1. Good level of Tauros. Oh, we are not going to learn Leer at level 35. We'll just let Tauros finish out this fight. So that's what the green zero is for, Foxy Asi. But thanks for asking. Good question. Um, I don't know. Genderless might still use that, um, no, genderless just uses that green circle in, uh, 2 through 8. So, th that green circle with the line through it is the genderless sign that you're seeing. Swap up Snorlax. Now I'm pretty sure when Snorlax levels up here to level 35, we're going to learn Body Slam, which we'll replace Headbutt with. Gross. Yeah, we were bound to miss at least one from that save attack. What about Pokemon that are in one game and not in the other? Uh, I, I don't understand what you're saying. You know, when we get to Gen 2, we're going to use, you know, all, all the way up that's available in Gen 2. 
and then so on for three, four, five. And since we use um, the emulator cheat function to just work the Pokemon in that we'll have on our random teams at the beginning of the playthrough, it doesn't matter which um, version we're playing on. So for like Gen 2, it doesn't matter if we're playing on Gold, Silver, or Crystal. The Pokemon that aren't available in those games we could still get using the uh, emulator cheat function. Good headbutt, Snorlax. I think I still have just some paralyzed heals, yeah. Drop a couple amnesias here. All right, now we should be able to wipe everything out with psychic. Ah, uh, yes, trying to learn body slam. Excellent. This will actually complete Snorlax moveset. Which means that the only Pokemon we're waiting on to learn attack still then are Dodrio and... Uh, no, are Persian and Tauros. Yeah, forms will count as separate Pokemon uh, when we get all the way up to Gen 7 eventually. Um, so, like, we, you know, Meowth and Persian, we'll do a normal type playthrough and then we'll do a dark type playthrough. With Raticate, you know, we would have both the um, just pure normal type and we would also have uh, the normal dark type. Both in a normal type playthrough and then the dark one in a dark type playthrough. So, yeah, that will still count. There's the poison. I was kind of waiting for it. Good job, Snorlax. Good job, Snorlax. 
All right, next trainer has some grass boats. Uh, you are correct. We would have both a playthrough with regular Raichu and then with a Loan Raichu. Um. Hmm. The same thing with all of the um, uh, Rotom types, because they all change types. The one that I think that I probably won't do multiple playthroughs with, because it's dependent on in-battle situations, is we'll only have a um, normal type playthrough with cast form, uh, but we won't um, have like a water, fire, ice type playthrough with it. And I know it changes type based on the weather, uh, but that's all in-battle. You know, that would be the same thing as like... Uh, you know, using normal type playthroughs with flying type Pokemon that know Roost, in my opinion. Switch Persian up here. Goodbye, Dodrio. by do duo Take it away, Persian. Let Tauros take out this Pidgey. All right, this is the last trainer on the route.
Just let Dodrio take out this Tangela. Fuchsia. Let's make our way over to the focus center really quick. And then we're gonna go up to the safari zone. Something though, that's not what I wanted. Always try to get past that first patch of grass because then it only takes one max or pal to get through this whole part. Protein goes to Tauros. <laughs> Snorlax went, sir. Does the blubber fly, as they said in the uh, anime? As you see, we have no money, and that's because we spent it all to get Hyper Beam.
All right, do we get rid of HM3 and 4 because we taught him to Mew or HM Slave? Snorlax is where we will end this episode for today. So I do hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back tomorrow morning to continue on with the bike path and keep leveling up. So hope you all enjoyed. Have a good rest of your Thursday and see you next time. Take care, everybody.